this is chat gpt for you these are a lot of jobs gone i wonder how school kids will use or misuse it it's like thank god it doesn't crack jokes at you yet <laughs> so when more and more people use it they give feedback it learns no explain further i am dumb now i want to show you something very interesting i've been playing around with chat gpt for a while do you guys know what chat gpt is it's a cool thing right uh, you can literally it's a you can literally ask it to do a variety of things i have been thinking how can we use chat gpt for study purposes and right? how can chat gpt be if it efficiently used from a study perspective so i have a few ideas that i want to share i'm going to show it to you uh so first will open the chat gpt so you need to go on the open ai website and create an account for yourself i've already done it so this is your chat box okay how how can i help you today um uh, so first you want to learn about first way to use chat gpt is let's say you want to learn about efficient frontier cf level 1 frm part 1 topic so you can say this this could be a good prompt explain efficient frontier to me like i am a 5 year old i have seen it uses those uh, playing cards marbles those type of examples so let's see what it does imagine you have a jar filled with marbles some marbles are red some are blue the red marbles are special because they're worth a lot of money but you can only fit a few in a jar the blue marbles are not worth as much money but you can fit a lot of them in the jar efficient frontier is a line that shows best combination of red and blue marbles uh, that you can fit in the jar to get the most out of it it's like trying to make a jar of marbles that is worth the most money does it make sense no uh, explain further uh, i am dumb thank god it doesn't crack jokes at you yet <laughs> thank god it didn't say that's what i guessed <laughs> sure efficient frontier is a concept used in finance and investment it's a graph that shows different investment with different level of risk and return the line represents the best possible return for a given level of risk or the least risk for a given level of return think this is good but this is by the way part of your cfa level 1 fr part 1 syllabus this line i'll explain to you later think of it this way you have some money and you want to make it grow by investing it but different investments have different risk and different returns the efficient frontier shows the best combination of investment that will give you the most money without taking too much risk for example if you invest all your money in savings account you won't make much money but it's very safe on the other hand if you invest all your money in a new business you would make a lot of money but it's very risky efficient frontier will help you find out the best balance between safety and the potential to make more money does it make sense yeah it does okay so that's one way to do it so you can like keep on playing with it but i'll tell you a very effective way of making use of this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy paste uh maybe a paragraph of efficient frontier from your books paste it here and then say ask me 10 questions on this paragraph to test my understanding this is really cool this is called active learning and the thing with active learning is if you're reading something you tend to miss it right because your mind is distracted you're thinking something else but when you're being asked question you're forced to think of the concept so what does minimum variance frontier represent okay so let's say answers please so first question what does minimum variance frontier represent what is the main objective of investors according to the passage main objective is maybe to make more money we haven't read the passage but make more money or have less risk right minimum variance is what we saw the whole thing the bullet ship thing okay but that also has some meaning we haven't discussed that yet uh how does the passage define the term efficient frontier now these are the answers minimum variance frontier represents a set of portfolios with minimum variance for a given return in finance 
what is the objective of investors main objective is to maximize return for a given level of risk so this way you can you know keep on playing with it the whole day uh, i can also say can you summarize the paragraph for me so it can create its own juice notes for you right it's going to summarize the whole stuff for you now the summary is pretty big so you can you can play around so it's a graph that shows different investment with different level of risk and return best possible return for given level of risk or least risk for given level of return it gives us portfolios with minimum variance objective is to maximize the return given risk and then you can just you know keep on playing with it right now you can also say can you create three challenging mcqs for me and now it can create multiple choice questions this is really cool i mean you can if you you know if you want to really use it smartly you can make a lot out of it right it can ask it to teach you you can you can create questions out of it you can do active learning you can uh paste a formula and you can say create four or five practice questions on this formula with different variations it can do that right so you can use it in let's see first question three multiple choice questions to test your understanding what is the main objective of investor C maximize return for given level of risk. What is the significance of GMVP global minimum variance portfolio? Correct. B it is a portfolio with least amount of risk. What is true about Markowitz efficient frontier? Okay, let's say answers, uh, answers and explanation, please. You don't have to be so polite. I mean, you don't have to say please. Maximize return contains all portfolio risk averse and investor will choose and so on and so forth. So start making use of it. I don't think I mean, see, it would not be very efficient if you're using it for everything, because then it could be like Instagram where you get distracted and then you start doing, you know, other things. Is like how do I look cool? <laughs> uh, but if you identify the areas where you're struggling and then you know just go and do copy paste of those paragraphs and then ask it to teach you you can learn better i think so one is you can ask it to simplify the concepts for you uh, so i i've been using this i think explain me like i'm a five year old 100% 100% is going to use marbles example marbles or playing cards uh, you know or candies uh, but you can say simplify this for me dumb it down for me uh, you can force it to kind of simplify it further you can definitely ask it to create questions for you like test my understanding create 20 questions and then see if you can answer those 20 questions so that you know you understand if you learn this or not and then you can also create multiple choice questions and i'm sure people will figure out more ways of using it smartly over a period of time but this is really cool uh i realize i also posted some complicated formulas now you can't post an image so i typed in those formulas in some cases it was making a mistake it does so you have to tell him are you sure about this then it will go and check algorithm again and maybe next time it will produce the right answer so it's not 100 percent accurate yet but it's getting there right? so which is very cool you can do a lot of things but don't ask me now you can't ask me you can ask whatever it wants to ask you yeah so college assignments college homeworks uh, it's it's like i mean the whole industry is dead now where students post their homework and you know a lot of people across the world answer those homeworks uh, and they get paid per hour or per answer or something like that now uh, yeah you know now chat gpt is going to do it for you free of cost majority of the cases i wonder how school kids will use or misuse it it's like no everyone will have the not same paragraph no you just need to be smart for example write two paragraphs on the peshwa's history from this this year uh, but use a very simple language or use uh you know help me and also help me build vocabulary by using 
relatively unknown terms, right? You just need to be a little creative with how you give your prompts. Everyone can generate different answers. What are the unknown facts about Peshwa's history? Right? I can write paragraphs about this. So you just need to be creative in how you use it. It's it's very cool. And this is just the, the prototype. I mean, it's not even a full model yet. These models evolve, right? It's a machine learning algorithm. So for example, if I give it a feedback, if I give it a feedback, now the algorithm learned that, okay, you know, these type of solutions are good. So when more and more people use it, they give feedback, it learns. There's no, it's, it's a machine learning algorithm and it learns and it gets better. So with time, it's going to be phenomenal. And there are a lot of apps which are built using this technology. So I saw some YouTube videos where you can actually create uh, images out of it. So you can go to it and say, uh, you know, create a very nice sneakers image shot in a particular background. And it can actually use that algorithm and create a very well-designed uh, infographic or an image. So this is just the beginning. You can ask it to write code. Okay, so I can say, write a code in Python for portfolio standard deviation calculation. So there you go. These are a lot of jobs gone. And anyways, a lot of coders have been, I mean, no offense, but that, I, I'm not a coder. I don't know. But people tell me that every time we get stuck, we go on internet and copy paste and plug it. Is it true? Coders? Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. Everything is available. Yeah. So this is chat GPT for you.